Hi guys, the first thing we'll discuss today is the frequency modulation of an audio wave. For the frequency modulation, we need an input audio signal wave, a high frequency carrier wave. The input, input audio wave is superimposed with the carrier wave and the resultant is known as the frequency modulated wave. The frequency of the frequency modulated wave varies in proportion to the amplitude of the input wave. At the maximum of the input wave, we have uh, the frequency of FM wave as maximum. At the valley, it is minimum. And when the, when the amplitude of the input wave is zero, the frequency of the FM wave is known as the center frequency. The second thing we are about to study today is the super heterodyne receiver. This receiver uses frequency mixing to convert a received signal into a fixed intermediate frequency, which is convenient for further processing. The fixed frequency can be used to design amplifiers and filters very easily and cheaply. The advantages it also provides are the high, high sensitivity and selectivity to frequency. Yeah, so this is a block diagram of a super heterodyne FM receiver. This is an antenna. Antenna is the first transducer forced into action. It intercepts the signals which are from the atmosphere and converts them into a voltage of the order of microvolt. Then comes an RF filter and amplifier. What is the basic purpose of this? Is that this filter is a bandpass filter whose bandwidth is approximately 2 omega IF where omega IF is the intermediate frequency. What, is, what it does is that it provides initial selectivity by which I mean that there is a range of frequencies that are polygon antenna. This is the range of the FM station. But we want an initial selectivity uh, whose bandwidth is this. So we use an RF filter and further an amplifier to amplify the initial stage of the input signal, which is very low. Then comes a stage which involves a mixer. A mixer is a, uh, is a, is a kind of a phase detector and which has two inputs and two outputs. In this particular FM receiver, the inputs are omega RF and an omega RF plus omega IF which is being produced by a local oscillator. The two outputs thus are omega IF and twice omega RF plus omega IF. Then comes an intermediate frequency filter and an amplifier. So we saw that the mixture, mixture is producing two output, omega IF and two omega RF plus omega IF. But our basic purpose of super heterodyne receiver is to work on a particular frequency. So what this IF filter does is, this, is that it rejects 2 omega RF plus omega IF. It rejects and passes through omega IF only. After amplifying, this amplifier further enhances the intensity of the input signal. So this is a very important step of our receiver circuit. So after the IF filter and amplifier part, what we are left with is a modulated signal with a center frequency of omega IF. This omega, now we need to demodulate this modulated signal to get back the original audio signal which was modulated on a carrier frequency. For this purpose, we use a detector or a demodulator. For this particular receiver, we are using a quadrature detector. And then comes the final stage that is power amplifier. Actually what happens after demodulation, the strength of the audio signal, the original signal becomes very low and that is not sufficient to drive other audio devices. So it is passed through a power amplifier which in return amplifies the intensity to that extent so that it drives such loudspeakers and other audio devices. So the problem that we might face with the super heterodyne FM receiver if you are given a thought is that if this frequency uh, omega RF plus twice omega IF is also present as an input to the mixer the mixer will still produce an output of omega IF because it is this frequency is at a distance of omega IF from the input of the local of the local oscillator from the local oscillator. So, uh, this would uh, surely interfere with the intended station at a data stage. So to prevent this from happening, what we do is that we set the bandwidth of an, of the RF filter equal approximately equal to two omega IF so that the image frequency from the not from the unintended uh, initial source is rejected at a very early stage. Another component that we have written here is ganging RF filters with local oscillator. Someone may ask why. So basically what we discussed before is that image frequency omega RF plus 2 omega IF is to be rejected. Omega RF is actually the frequency of the station that we want to listen to our audio device. So this image frequency rejection should happen so for each of the omega RF. If we fix omega RF here, then though one of the stations might get rejected, 
but we can't generalize this rejection for all of the stations. So what we do basically is gang or track each other, local oscillator and the RF filter. What it does is that whenever local oscillator is tuned, the center frequency of RF filter, omega RF, automatically tunes itself with LO. So basically what, is, what we are doing by this is that image frequency for each of the omega RF gets rejected because of this bandwidth. Now suppose we want to tune our FM device to a particular radio station. Let's say suppose 93.5 FM station. So which part or which component comes in handy? The answer to this is this gang part. What happens when we tune our radio device? So basically when we are tuning to 93.5 FM station, omega RF we want is 93.5. So omega LO, the tuning part which we can control is set to 93.5 plus 10.7 which is omega RF plus omega IF which is approximately 104.2 megahertz. So basically we are tuning this and also the center frequency for RF filter changes to 93.5 so that the image frequencies gets rejected. So what we get finally is omega IF which is 10.7 megahertz only from the desired station that is 93.5 FM station and no other stations can interfere with the final audio signal. As you are talking about the block components of the receiver circuit, here is a simplified realization of what the circuit looks like. Initially, the transistor receives varied range of frequencies. This is only the range which on which the FM stations broadcast their signals. This is straight away passed into a linear combination of LC and R. This combination acts as a band pass filter which allows a subset of this range to pass through the pass to the amplifier. This is mainly done to reject the image frequency which is at a distance of 2 omega intermediate frequency. This is achieved at this stage. It is then passed into a common base amplifier. The common base amplifier does the initial amplification and this output which is omega IF centered at omega RF is passed to the mixer. So the, uh, as my friends uh, talked about, the output from the RF amplifier is made to pass through a DC blocker and into a mixer. The mixer also receives an input from uh, an LC oscillator. This LC oscillator con consists of uh, a tank circuit uh, made up of a uh, inductor and a variable capacitor. This variable capacitor is tuned when we are talk talking about tuning and uh, for example if you want to hear about 93 point here uh, 93.5 red FM, we need to tune this. So, uh, this produces a, 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 a signal of fre frequency omega RF plus omega IF and this is also passed uh, into the mixer. This mixer is a complex thing and it, uh, it con consists of an IC and it, uh, the two inputs that it takes are multiplied with each other as we can see here and, the, and then through basic trigonometry we can see that it produces two outputs and this uh, output is made to pass through uh, because of this uh, low pass filter. This low pass filter is an important ingredient. What it does is that it allows to pass the intermediate frequency omega IF through it but it rejects the higher frequency which is 2 omega RF plus omega IF down to the ground. The capacitor does the rejecting part, the, it goes to the ground then it is passed to the IF amplifier. It is a very important part of the circuit. This amplifies the omega IF signal quite substantially so that the later part quadrature detector can demodulate it. Uh, yeah, so now comes, up, comes the quadrature detector that my friend Ankesh was talking about. The input uh, through a DC blocker is passed, through the, is passed into this and it breaks into it, the quadrature det um, breaks it into two parts. One part is the signal which is centered at omega IF and the other part is made to pass through a capacitor which changes its space by uh, pi by 2 and then this uh, and then it also passes through a tank LC circuit which also adds a variable phase to it and these two inputs are passed through this mixer. As we can see here it, there are these, these are the two inputs and as uh, the, the functioning is same as that of the mixer used in the mixer uh, local oscillator combination and thus the two outputs are produced. This output is rejected in the low pass filter which is which will be further explained 
and this phi varies as the amplitude of the original audio signal which was superimposed on the carrier frequency during the modulation stage thus thus what we receive as an output from this mixer is uh, uh, demodulated uh, sinusoid so this was the low pass filter which he was mentioning there the low pass filter rejects the 2 omega if part and only the signal which is proportional to the phase difference is passed to the power amplifier the final part of the circuit here it is a combination of a common emitter as well as a common collector configuration of transistor the common emitter does the main part of amplification and common collector is used as a voltage buffer why do we need a voltage buffer as we know that audio devices might have very small resistance so common emitter in parallel with that audio device decreases its gain so we need a common collector configuration which has a very low output resistance and hence the gain of the common emitter remains unaffected this output is fed to our devices the original signal is fed and this blockers does not allow the noises to pass through